لا يزال الخير حيا لا يزال إن في الدنيا سلاما واضحا إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون All praises due to Allah whom we turn to for help, forgiveness and guidance to the right path and we seek refuge in Allah from the evils of our souls and we seek refuge in Allah from the evils of our sins for whomsoever Allah guides no one can misguide and whomsoever is misguided then only Allah the Almighty can guide him and I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah the Almighty alone and I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his slave and messenger may the prayers and peace and blessings be upon him until the day of judgment O you who believe fear Allah as you truly should be feared and die only as Muslims die only in a state of Islam my dear brothers in our previous sermons we've been shedding light on the attributes of the servants of the all-merciful the attributes of the servants of the all-merciful this elite group of people or category of people who have special features certain features which they have been praised and complimented for and huge virtues and merits have been placed upon these attributes and features that they have adorned themselves with and one of those special attributes and features which this elite group has adorned itself with is the observance and the establishing of the prayer whether it be the obligatory prayer or the voluntary prayer because the prayer my dear brothers is the most virtuous of the bodily of the bodily deeds that a person can do and one of the prayers that stands out we're talking here about the voluntary prayers that stands out is the night prayer because it's an emphasized sunnah it's an emphasized sunnah the almighty says praising this elite group of people the servants of the all merciful وَالَّذِينَ يَبِيتُونَ لِرَبِّهِمْ سُجَّدًا وَقِيَامًا and those who spend part of the night part of the night prostrating and standing up in prayer for their Lord Allah praised and complimented this deed and action of theirs in fact my dear brothers if you were to look into the textual proofs the Quran and Sunnah you'd find many virtues and merits concerning this night prayer and that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pinpointed the night prayer for special mention or attention. If you were to look into some of this textual proof, you'll find that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, أَفْضَلُ الصَّلَاةِ بَعْضَ صَلَاةِ الْفَرِيضَةِ صَلَاةُ اللَّيْلِ The best or the most superior of the prayers after the obligatory prayer is what is the night prayer is the night prayer and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said alaykum bi qiyam al-layl fa innahu da'bu salihin qablakum fa innahu da'bu salihin qablakum 
wa qurbatun ila rabbikum wa mukaffirun lis sayyiat wa manhatun lil ithm Prophet sallallahu said observe be observant of the night prayer for it is the practice of the righteous people before you it is the practice of the righteous people before you it is a means of getting closer to Allah and a means of having your sins wiped away and a means of preventing you from falling into sin so four important virtues of the night prayer it's the practice of the pious predecessors before us it's a means of getting close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's a means of having our sins forgiven it's a means of preventing us from falling into sin and our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once said about Abdullah ibn Umar and you know who Abdullah ibn Umar is the son of Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu an, one of the great sahabas and one of the great uh, scholars of the sahaba he said the following about him Abdullah لو كان يصلي من الليل فبهذا الخبر يعني كأنه يخبر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بأن عبد الله بن عمر ما كان يقوم من الليل لعله ما كان يعرف عظم أجر قيام الليل والله أعلم على كل نعم الرجل عبد الله لو كان يصلي من الليل فلما سمع عبد الله هذا الخبر من النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كان بعد ذلك كان ينام قليلا من الليل كما أخبر بذلك عنه ابنه سالم رضي الله عنه عبد الله بن عمر رضي الله عنه one of the companions of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم one of the scholars and great men of the companions of the Prophet ﷺ, the son of Umar ibn al-Khattab. The Prophet ﷺ said about him, how excellent of a man is Abdullah ibn Umar. Only if he would get up part of the night for prayer. Looks like Abdullah ibn Umar probably didn't know the virtues and merits of the night prayer. And he didn't used to get up for it. After hearing this from the Prophet Wasallam, Salim, the narrator of the hadith says, and that's his son, he says, after that, Abdullah ibn Umar would sleep very little in the night. Meaning, he would, what? Get up for long periods praying in the night. After he heard that from the Prophet Wasallam. As for the time, my dear brothers, of the night prayer, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to pray in all parts of the night. At the beginning, in the middle of the night, at the end of the night. And finally, towards the end of his life, he settled where? At the end of the night. He settled in praying the night prayer at the end of the night, in particular, the last third of the night. Why was that? Because this is a special occasion or a special time. It's a blessed time wherein the Prophet ﷺ informs his ummah that Allah the Almighty يَنزِلُ اللَّهُ تَبَارَقَ وَتَعَالَى قُلَّ لَيْلَةٍ إِلَى السَّمَاءِ الدُّنْيَا فَيُنَادِي فَيَقُولُ مَنْ يَدْعُونِي فَأَسْتَجِيبُ لَهُ مَنْ يَسْأَلُنِي فَأُعْطِيَهُ مَنْ يَسْتَغْفِرُنِي فَأَغْفِرُ لَهُ Prophet ﷺ informed that Allah the Almighty comes down to the lowest heaven as befitting Him the Almighty every night in the last third of the night في الثلث الأخير من الليل and He calls upon His servants he says, who is supplicating me so that I may answer his supplication? 
Who is calling upon me so that I may answer him? Who is seeking my forgiveness so that I may forgive him? So that I may forgive him. Therefore, a believer, a Muslim, who truly knows his Lord, should be eager and should strive and aspire to play a role concerning this most virtuous of deeds and acts. He should aspire to play a role on a daily basis, every second day, or at least on a weekly basis, to get up in the night and seek the great virtues and merits and blessings of this time. To devote himself in prayer, dhikr, dua, seeking forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even if it is two rukas. Even if it is something small. But that's how our pious predecessors, that's how our prophet and our pious predecessors used to spend their nights. Huh? I repeat that again. That's how our, pi pious, pro our prophet and our pious predecessors used to what? Spend their nights. Not clubbing, watching videos and movies and, huh? and going out. Huh? Nightlife, they call it nightlife. Uh, their nightlife, subhanAllah, look, ibadah, worshipping, devoting themselves to Allah, remembering Allah, doing istighfar to Allah, coming closer to Allah. That's what they used to concern themselves with. As for running after their lusts and desires and whims, huh? they left that aside. Because there's no, no benefit in it. No benefit for them huh, in the hereafter. In fact, a lot of our brothers and sisters bring harm upon themselves when they do this. When they do this. And what is worse, huh, they don't get up for the night prayer. They don't even get up for Fajr prayer. That's what's worse. The obligations they don't do. So if this was the situation and position of our salaf, of our pious predecessors, concerning the voluntary prayer, then how were they concerning the obligatory prayer? I can guarantee you they were more obsessed huh? and more motivated and dedicated to observe the obligatory prayer during their day and during their night. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who observe the obligatory and voluntary prayers and make us amongst those who get up for him in prostration and in standing uh, in prayer in the night. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum min kulli dham fastaghfiru innahu huwa al-ghafuru rahim Bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah my dear brothers, Allah the Almighty says in his holy book, وَكَانُوا قَلِيلًا مِّنَ اللَّيْلِ مَا يَهْجَعُونَ وَبِالْأَسْحَارِ هُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ That was the situation of our pious predecessors and of our role model, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as Allah informs about them in this verse. They used to sleep very little in the night. And before dawn, they would seek forgiveness from their Lord. They would seek forgiveness from their Lord. Very special, very special time and blessed time. How beautiful is it to open up your day with devotion, devoting yourself and worshipping your Lord and coming closer to Him. And our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to get up for long periods in the night. And he's our role model and example. 
the best role model and the best example. May the peace and blessings and prayers be upon him. As has come in the hadith of Aisha radiallahu anha, who said, كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يقوم الليل أو يصلي من الليل أربع أربع ركعات فلا تسأل عن طولهن وحسنهن ثم يصلي أربعا فلا تسأل عن طولهن وحسنهن ثم يصلي ثلاثا Aisha informs us that the Prophet used to get up for the night prayer and pray for Four ruqas. She said, don't ask about the, their beauty and their length. Don't ask about their beauty, how, yani, how well and how perfect uh, and how God conscious he was in those prayers and don't ask about their length. You used to read Surah Al-Baqarah and Ali Imran and An-Nisa and sometimes in one ruqa. And he used to be up for hours. Salawatu Rabbi wa salamu And in another hadith, Aisha radiallahu anha used to say that the Prophet used to get up in the night until his feet would swell. And I would say to him, O Prophet of Allah, your sins, past and future, have been forgiven. Why are you doing this? What would be his reply? May the peace and blessings be upon him. He would say, Shall I not love to be a grateful servant? Shall I not love to be a grateful servant to Allah? كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كما أخبرت بذلك عائشة رضي الله عنها كان يقوم من الليل حتى تتفطر قدماه فتقول له زوجته عائشة رضي الله عنها يا رسول الله لما تصنع هذا وقد غفر لك ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر فماذا كان يقول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أو يجيب أفلا أحب أن أكون عبدا شكورا أفلا أحب أن أكون عبدا شكورا فاللهم اجعلنا من عبادك الشاكرين اللهم عنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك واجعلنا من عباد الرحمن الذين يبيتون لربهم سجدا وقياما اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين واقبت أعداء الدين اللهم انصر من نصر هذا الدين واخذل من خذل هذا الدين اللهم انصر من نصر هذا الدين واخذل من خذل هذا الدين يا قوي يا عزيز يا متين اللهم احفظ المسلمين اللهم احفظ المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم احفظهم من الأوبئة والأمراض والأسقام والبرص والطاعون اللهم احفظهم في كل مكان يا قوي يا عزيز يا متين اللهم اللهم أصلح لنا ديننا الذي هو عصمة أمرنا وأصلح لنا دنيانا التي فيها معاشنا وأصلح لنا آخرتنا التي إليها معادنا ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وأخذ دوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين وأقم الصلاة